Hello everyone and welcome back to Kane Variety's channel. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a perfect and super delicious donut recipe. This type can melt in your mouth as easily as possible because it is soft and super super moist. To see how I prepare the glazing method, please don't forget to watch this video to the very very end. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload new videos. Feel free to share this video with your friends, loved ones, or anybody you want to share it, even your enemies, guys. <laughs> Once again, guys, I welcome you all back to my channel. So in today's episode, like I have already introduced, I'll be showing you how to make a perfect homemade donut recipe. So here, I have four cups of um, flour. This is a cup I used for my measurement, 250 ml to one cup. That's what we are using, and we are using four good cups of um, flour. And as you can see, I have already gone ahead to sift the flour. That is very, very important. Make sure that um, you sift your flour. So let me introduce you to other ingredients. Here I have uh, five good tablespoons of um, butter. We are going to melt this butter later on. And here I have six tablespoons of um, sugar. You can feel free to increase or reduce the quantity. Just do what is okay for you. Here we are having one cup of milk. We are going to also warm this milk so that it will be very warm and not um, hot. In this place, I have half teaspoon of um, nutmeg. Nutmeg is very very important for this recipe. It gives your donut that unique taste like the one you buy in your supermarket. But um, if you don't like nutmeg, feel free to let go or you can substitute it with um, any flavoring of your choice. Maybe cinnamon or vanilla essence if you prefer. Here we are having two eggs and here I have um, half teaspoon of salt and also I have here my dry yeast usually other recipes require that um, you proof your yeast but since we are using a dry yeast and you can see the yeast is in a pack and it has not been opened before it then means that your yeast is at so i will not be proofing the yeast because already as you can see it has not been opened them before so i don't have time to waste so for the benefit of those who don't know what um, 50 grams may amount to because we're using 50 grams of um, yeast for this recipe so just to be sure of um, what quantity in teaspoon I'm using for this um, yeast, I'm going to open up the pack so that um, you can see what quantity I am having here. So I've just poured in the sachet of yeast into my tablespoon and what we are having there is 15 ml of um, yeast. That is exactly one full tablespoon of um, yeast. Into my bowl right now, I'm going to pour in the yeast and pass it across um, the sieve. So just before I add any other ingredients, I'll go ahead and mix the yeast and the flour together. The next ingredient I'm going to cross right now is the cinnamon. Then I'm going to also pour in the sugar. I'm crossing all of them through my sieve and then here is the salt. I'm going to transfer the salt into the sieve. Go ahead and sieve the ingredients into the bowl. You can see some of the rough particles. I'll eliminate that because it's not vital for this recipe. Then I'll pick up my spatula and mix all the ingredients together. Make sure you mix in all the dry ingredients so that everything will be properly distributed into the flour so that you have a uniform taste and flavor from your recipe. Now that the step is completed, I will go ahead now and melt my butter in the microwave. I will come back to show you that and I will also go ahead and warm this milk. You want this milk to be very very warm, not hot guys. So please make sure your ingredients are not um, hot otherwise your yeast will not be active. As you can see, I've gone ahead to melt the butter like I told you earlier on. So everything is ready. Right now, I will pour the milk inside the bowl. So here is the eggs, the two eggs, I'll pour it also inside the bowl. Then finally, I'll also pour in the melted butter. So with the help of my spatula, I'll now mix and combine all these ingredients together. So 
so guys if you look closely you will notice that what we are having here is a sticky dough and not a tough or hardened dough so please don't be tempted to add more flour to this recipe we are going for a very soft donut so this consistency is perfect if you follow the measurements that i have just shown you right now one thing i'm going to do differently right now i'm going to transfer this into my kneading machine and then knead for like 10 good minutes but if you're going to use your hand if you don't have the machine what you're going to do is to oil I said oil, you didn't say flour, so that you don't use too much in flour. So what you will do is to drop or rub small oil on your wet surface right now and then pour this dough on that um, surface and then knead it for like 10 to 15 good minutes until the dough is stretchy. I hope you guys understand that. So if you're not having the machine, that is what you're going to do. But I'll be transferring this now to knead it. The kneading process is done. So right now we are going to bring out um, the dough to the surface. Okay. Use some little drops of oil. Use any oil of your choice. I'm using rapeseed oil. This will enable the dough to, you know, fold well. So you can see how stretchy this dough is. This is what you should end up having if you want to have a perfect donut. Okay. So I'll sprinkle in some little quantity of oil inside this bowl to prevent the dough from being sticky. So this step is completed, set the bowl aside. This is a perfect stretchy donut type of dough. This is what you should be having guys. You see, it's even very difficult to tear it like a wrapper. <laughs> you need to transfer this dough inside the bowl here. Or use a towel and just place on top of it. We are going to allow this to rise in the warmest area of your kitchen for like a one hour to one hour 30 minutes but one hour is okay guys depending on how hot your kitchen is one hour 30 minutes later guys i'm going to show you to what extent the dough has proved so here is our dough i'm going to open it up and wow guys can you see this the dough has doubled or tripled in size can you see what we have here what we're going to do right now is to punch down this dough guys to deflate the air this is the point in time we have to sprinkle in some little quantity of flour on the wet surface because right now you will need it so here I have my donut cutter. If you don't have donut cutter, just use any circle rounded shape cover you have in your house. I'll be using this to do the cutting process. Now we are going to roll out um, the portion that we are having here. You don't want the donut to be too too flat. What I have here is just um, perfect enough. You can see what I have here. Finish cutting out the donuts. We are going to go ahead and remove the excess dough. I'll carefully lift the donuts and place them on the baking paper.
the donut completely covered like this for good 30 minutes and allow it to rise. 30 good minutes. My cooker settings is between 0 to number 9 guys, but I'm going to be using number 4 to preheat um, this oil. We are going to use a very low heat to medium heat to fry it. In fact, it wouldn't even be reaching up to medium heat, just something in between medium to low heat. That's what we are going to fry this donut with. So your oil will not be too hot for this frying process because you don't want your donut to come out, you know, darkened in appearance. We want it golden brown. 30 minutes later guys, I have opened up the towel from the donut and we are ready to go over to the frying process. I'm so sorry guys, my kids came into the kitchen while I went to charge my battery because um, my battery died off. Unfortunately, before I came back, my kids have um, destroyed some of um, the donut um, shape. So when you have kids, these are some of the problems and the temptations that um, we pass through, you know. Guys, at this stage, we are going to taste to see if the oil is properly heated. So you see that the donut is uh, bubbling a little bit. You don't want this oil to be too hot before your donuts um, go inside. So I'm going to begin to drop in my donut because um, the heat we are having right now is okay for the frying process. Like I said, you don't want the oil to be too, too hot before your donuts um, get inside it. Once the oil is bubbling gradually like this, please throw in your donuts inside the oil. We are going to allow it to fry on one side and then we'll flip it. I have flipped the donut because I want the other side of um, the donut um, to also fry evenly. It's already golden brown, so I'll set them out of the oil right now. At this point in time, guys, I want to prepare the glaze for the donut. This step is not uh, necessary, it's optional. If you don't want to do this step, all you have to do is just to eat your donut after the frying process. And so here I have um, 250 grams of um, confectioner sugar. This is the powdered smooth um, sugar. That's what I have here. And I have 5 to 6 tablespoons of uh, melted body sugar right inside the butter. Here I have some whole milk. I will go ahead and add about um, 3 to 4 tablespoons of uh, milk. That depends on how you want the thickness of your glaze to be. So I'll add about um, 3 to 4 tablespoons of uh, milk. If I notice that the consistency is too thick, I will go ahead and add more tablespoons of uh, milk. But for now, that is okay. Here I have some vanilla essence or some vanilla flavor. I'll just add half a um, teaspoon of uh, vanilla flavor so what I'm going to do now is to mix these ingredients together so just mix it very well so that everything becomes very smooth without any type of um, lumps in it so right now I have the perfect consistency and guys this sugar mixture tastes incredibly amazing. Just keep the vanilla essence. It's a must have for this step of preparation. It brings that flavor into the donut. This is perfect. We are now going to begin dropping the donuts inside the glaze. I'll drop in one of the donuts inside here and then coat it very, very well inside this um, glaze, guys. Do it um, front and back so that the donuts will be properly coated. To drop the donuts on top of your rack and allow the glaze.
glaze to set so this is what you will continue doing until you have dropped in all your donuts inside them the glaze Finally, finally guys, we have come to the end of today's recipe. At this stage, the donuts are not completely dried, but I'm in a hurry to rush down to work right now. So, I'm going to open one for you while I still allow the donuts to set, you know, properly. So, this is what we are having. So, if I touch it, you will notice that it has not um, completely um, dried in. So, we will leave these ones here until they dry very, very well. Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode i really hope you have enjoyed today's recipe and if you have done so don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel feel free to share this video guys share share this video to your friends and loved ones thank you so much guys until i come your way next time bye bye